One, two, three. Good game, this. A bit like cards. Four, five, six. Call, pick your dinner. Seven, and you are a baby bird. Eight. One of those has to be your meal, one of those insects or spiders. Which one did you pick? If you pick one of those, you're in good shape and you're not hungry anymore. But if you pick one of those, you are in dead trouble. Because you pick one of the creatures that shows nature's warning colours. Red, orange, black, yellow and white. Combinations of those. It means that they either stink or taste bad, like the bugs. Or they taste bad or are furry, like some of the moths. Or they sting, like the wasps and the bees. Or, in this case, they bite and give you a hard time, like the redback. And the redback's really what we're talking about now. It's one of Australia's most interesting spiders, and it's one of the two most deadly, along with the funnel web. Difference is, this one is found all over the place. And you can find it and distinguish it by the red stripe on its black body. Very elegant spider, but don't on any account touch it, because it really is quite a deadly thing. We think of most spiders as spinning a large cartwheel of a web, but not all of them do this. Those that do are called orb spinners. The red back is a bit different. It doesn't spin anything as neat as that. It spins this sort of structure. A crazy kind of lattice, and it's known as a lattice web. Well, that's the diagram. Here's the real thing with the spider in it. See the spider there? If you can focus on it, you can just see that sort of crazy lattice of uh, web. I'll turn the thing around, and you can actually see the fibres crisscrossing in space with the spider sitting in them. Well, that's the lattice web. Doesn't look as if it would catch much at all, but it does. You won't find flies in a redback web, not very often anyway, but you will find things like this. Those little cigar things are rolled up there. They used to be moths. Not, well, they still are, really. They're dinner waiting for when the spider's hungry. And if you picked that bundle of rubbish over, you'd find all sorts of things in it, including bits of beetle, quite large beetle, too. The surprising thing are those little things at the back, and they are slaters or wood lice. I've got some live slaters here, and if I tip them out, you'll recognise them immediately. You find them in a compost heap, or any damp place as you turn it over, these things scuttle away, away by the uh, hundreds and by the thousands. They look as if they'd be a good meal for things, but in fact they're not. I've fed them to little marsupials who take one bite and leap high in the air and spend about an hour brushing their mouth. And even most of the spiders take one bite, and spiders aren't terribly choosy, and they uh, have even been seen to be polishing their fangs. There must be something about them that tastes frightful, but it doesn't put off the red back. And that's those tidy little bundles at the back. They're slaters, and they've been paralysed, and they're waiting to be eaten when she gets hungry. Well, they're not the only things that you find in the web with redbacks, food. You find these things as well. Little white silvery balls, and they're the egg cases. Most spiders put their eggs into a case of this kind. And the eggs hatch in it, protected by the fibre, and grow into little spiderlings. But, uh, although there are no spiders that actually fly, Baby redbacks are amongst the spiders that do the next best thing. They go ballooning or parachuting. When they hatch out, they're tiny, and they spin a tiny thread of silk, and they wait for a breeze, and they leap off into it, and they go floating away over the countryside and settle down wherever they can to spin one of these little lattice webs in the sort of dark, secluded places that are difficult for us because they're the places we put our hands, under rubbish bin handles and under bricks, under bits of tin. That's the sort of place they like. And I uh, really should refer to her as she, because it is a she. They are the ones that give us the trouble, the ones with the red stripe. They are females. The male is a little tiny thing that spends half his life trying to avoid being eaten, and the other half trying to mate with her. And often he's eaten while he's trying to do the mating. And that's the reason that in America, almost the same spider is known as the black widow. <laughs>